Hey guys, it's me, Jim Kincaid, and the question is, can you use the GBDH2000 without the Bluetooth? And the answer is yes. Okay, I've been using this GBDH2000 since it first came out. I bought it right away. And when the, guys, when did this come out? Do you guys remember? No. I think it was March. So, all right, what's the date now? The ten, the ten, what's the 10th month? October? It's almost November. So we'll say March, April, May, June, July, August, Halloween, September, Halloween. October. What is that? That's like eight months. Over eight months I've been using the GBDH2000. No Bluetooth, okay? This watch undefiled by Bluetooth. And I'm happy to say that, yes, you can use this watch without Bluetooth. Now, there's, there's some... Uh, features and functions that aren't available without the app on your phone and uh, but otherwise you can still use it I mean as a basic heart rate monitor it works just fine okay so for example if all you wanted to do is see your heart rate there you go my heart rate I'm getting kind of worked up my heart rates all the way up to 82 beats per minute but you can see that that it is possible to use the heart rate monitor, no Bluetooth, okay? So to have accurate information about your health, you have to enter uh, the information into the settings, okay? So that is one drawback of not having the Bluetooth set up is that you have to manually enter your height and weight. I have my weight listed at 295. I'm sorry to say, I. I after getting this watch, I lost negative five pounds. I weigh 300 now, but the other information is correct. I had to enter this in, which isn't that bad because you have forward and backward buttons. So you can, if I was losing weight, I could drop the weight down, but I'm losing negative pounds for some reason. We'll just, we'll be kind to me and just say 299 pounds. All right, so entering the information uh, pertinent to to your health isn't that difficult using the navigation of the watch you do not need Bluetooth to get around the watch all right there you can use any of the workouts which there aren't a whole lot but you can use them without without Bluetooth and you can store your workouts in the watch without Bluetooth on the life log no sorry life log is your steps where is it? Activity log. There you go. So these are my workouts, okay? They're gym, gym workouts. My name is Jim, but the gym workouts are, are, are the workouts that you do that don't require the GPS, okay? So, uh, yeah, I've enjoyed wearing this watch. It's, it's so dadgum comfortable. It's amazing that sometimes I have to, you know, reach down and feel my wrist to make sure that this watch is still on. And it is because it's a it's a durable but supple soft band, very comfortable. I I rate this watch highly. Uh, overall, you know, like I've said before in my review, there there are some there are some problems. I think that I think that some of the OS software is kind of half baked. I think they just wanted to get it out the door and then be like, oh, we'll fix it in the app. So there's some some problems. Uh, like if you're doing if you're doing a a uh, like like just say like a running workout, uh, you know it has to acquire the GPS. But or any workout really, we don't we don't need to use the running workout to show you. So you're on the gym workout. This one does not require the GPS. So you can see split time. You can see the the local time, like the time right now, and the split time. And you can see your heart rate. But what if you wanted to see your heart rate right now and the time? It doesn't have that, right? Th this screen has your heart rate and your split time. So if you're doing a gym workout, you kind of like you want to see your heart rate. I just I, when I'm lifting weights, I just want to see when my heart rate comes down to do ne the next set. But I also want to see what time it is in case the gym's closing or you know, I've, I have to leave at a certain time. So that was one annoying problem, the first annoying problem I encountered, and I actually made a rant video about how stupid that was, and a lot of people in the comments were saying, 
oh, if you if you update the software or the firmware via the app, it, it fixes that problem. And then I was like, oh man, I gotta take this video down because it's it's not right to be ranting about a product when when you're you kind of going off label on your usage of it. And my usage of this watch was off label. I wanted to see can I use this with no Bluetooth, right? And uh, you can, okay. So uh, and you are there. There are some 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 issues, okay. And actually, I'll I'll just go over them. Uh, you see, this is the main time screen, and this is watch face number five. So if you go to the settings, you can change the watch face under watch settings, okay. Excuse me, did I say watch face five? Watch face four, which is the steps. Watch face five would be uh, a user-defined watch face, all right? And it comes as default showing steps. Uh, and, and I think this might be your cardio status. I wouldn't want to show this. I would want to show my heart rate because I want a watch face that would have the time and, and my heart rate okay and this from out of the from the factory out of the box does not have that okay but let me reach into my g-shock bag find the dwh 5600 does have a watch face that will show the uh your heart rate right right on the main time screen that's what that is right and so I was griping about the GBDH 2000 not having that and some people chimed in and they were saying that if I hooked it up to the app, I could change watch face five to be customized. And I was like, all right, well that's kind of, that's kind of one, uh, that's the biggest problem that I have not, not using the Bluetooth is, is the customization to watch face number five for me personally. I'll go over some other limitations you might have not using the Bluetooth at all on this, and you can decide whether it's a deal breaker for you. But I just want to say again, in general, you can get away with just using this as a basic fitness watch, no Bluetooth, it's not required. And, and the thing is, a lot of people are like, what's the big deal? Just, just, just use Bluetooth. Just use the app. Like a lot of people were griping in the comments, and, and they were really bothering me like just use the app just use the app just use the app and i'm like no no apps are stupid apps are dumb all right this is like like i think that they take all the computer programmers and they take the best ones to make like like real computer programming stuff you know that 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 controls the power grid or whatever but all like the remedial computer programmers they put on to making apps because apps are stupid all right like let's say that you want to go get some food out of Chili's back in the day like you could call Chili's if you're going to get a takeout order or you know maybe go to the website if you know nowadays people don't call anymore but now like Chili's would be like, oh you have to use the app and the app's dumb it's like it's 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 stupid app like the websites are better than apps Am I wrong? Anyways, I, I was a holdout not wanting to use the Bluetooth on the GBDH2000 uh, or the Casio Watches app, or whatever app they have. And after taking that stand, all these people started coming in the comments of my videos like, help, the app won't work, the app won't update, I can't hook up the GBDH2000 to the, G to the G Move app. And I just looked at the website for Casio and, and I was like, listen, you know, the GBH 2000 doesn't use the, 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 the fitness app from Casio. You have to use the watches app. It's a totally different app. Just showing you the stupidity of, of apps, right? And so people complain that I don't use the app. And then people, you know, in the comments, and then people come in the comments and they complain that the app's not working. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. Okay. It's dumb to release a product and then have flaws in it and then think, yeah, the app, we'll fix it in the app. That's dumb. It's like, I don't know how many of you are in the filmmaking, but when you're on the set and you're, you know, you're filming and someone's like, oh, we'll just fix it in post, you know that that's, that's a dumb idea. Anyways, uh, that's, that's just a rant 
I'm ranting about my hatred of apps in general. I mean, if you didn't want to use good old fashioned, just talking to people on the phone or in person, and you have to have something go through the app, the problem is that websites are better than apps and they update websites regularly. Apps, they make them once and they forget about them. They're always clunky and stupid. Whew. Okay, let me get back to what you're missing out on the GBH2000 without Bluetooth. So number one, uh, I've, already I've already explained that you can't customize watch face five. So let me just change it back to the, my favorite watch face, which is watch face one. And you see how easy it is to change all of these using the, uh, the navigation buttons. The, GB the DWH5600, not quite the same. I dropped it on the ground in my rant. Hold on, let me get it. What is it, Helen? Wait, I'm reviewing a fitness watch and you're trying to show me all your Halloween candy? You gotta be kidding me. Put it in front of the camera. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They went to Grandma's trailer park and they're, all right, Helen. First of all, the other day I was like looking for their Halloween candy and they were hiding it. And now that I'm reviewing a fitness watch, trying to be in shape, now they're, Helen's tempting me with all this Halloween candy. Helen, I'm trying to lose weight, okay? I'm trying to get back in shape. No candy. Daddy, all right. What? You have to eat a whole bag of candy. No, I don't. All right, guys, you're you're totally derailing my GBD H2000 re review slash rant about Bluetooth free usage. Okay, Phil put his. Watch, Phil wears the, uh, the, the, was it the GW5610, the DW5610, the original square with the updated module. This is a great watch, did not fit me. So Phil is now the owner of this watch. All right, DW, GBDH2000. Let's get back to that. So if you, if you are like me and do not want to use Bluetooth at all, the first problem you're gonna have is that you cannot update the firmware. And so if there are deficiencies in the software on this watch and you wanna update that, you would need to use the app, the Casio app, and you would need to hook it up via Bluetooth, okay? And then the Bluetooth app will sync the time of this watch with the time on your phone, okay? And so that, that's, that's a useful thing. Uh, but if you don't use the Bluetooth, you can still sync the time using the, every time you work out and the GPS syncs up, the GPS will sync the time. So there's two different ways to sync the time on the GBDH2000, which is the Bluetooth or the GPS. And so since I haven't been using Bluetooth, I've been using the GPS. Now, if you didn't want to go through the whole workout rigmarole, you can go to time adjustment. And the time adjustment is, is, see how it says Bluetooth or GPS? So I would pick GPS and it would acquire the satellites. And this takes, this takes a big chunk of battery, a battery life every time it has to hook up via, via the GPS. So Bluetooth is a low energy way to sync the time, which I haven't used. And uh, you know, I am an enjoyer of the multi-band six which is on the mudman and a number of other g-shock watches including phil's the uh 5610 and not that one but the king has multi-band six and these pro treks have multi-band six i really like it i live in west texas the tower for multi-band six is in colorado so it's really not far away i think it's like about 600 miles away from where I live. So I get great multi-band six reception, but the GBDH2000 does not have multi-band six. All right, so one feature, I'm gonna have to jump out of this. Being inside, I think has interfered with acquiring GPS satellites. But let me move, move on to the next point, which is some functions in this, when you roll through these functions, uh, you can use, you can kind of use and make it iffy results, but if you want consistent results, you're gonna to have to use the app. 
and foremost among those is nightly recharge which as you can see has no data even though I've been wearing it around the clock this is comfortable enough you can wear it around the clock so this if you wanted to track your sleep would be a good watch for doing that unfortunately you will require the app uh, I sometimes it, it reads my, when I'm sleeping but the problem is that my lifestyle, I do not have consistent bedtime. I work in the oil field, so sometimes I'm working through the night, sometimes I'm sleeping through the night, sometimes I'm sleeping through the day, sometimes I don't sleep. You know how it is, guys. But having inconsistent bedtime uh, makes it that, that the watch doesn't, doesn't, like, you can go through the settings and set when you sleep. But again, without, without the app, it's been inconsistent about uh, when when I'm sleeping, and I think it's in here. Uh, no, nope. somewhere in here you you set when your bedtime is, and I cannot find it now. So we'll just move on. You can say like the directions that come with this watch say you can't set your bedtime with the watch, but I found it in the watch and watch's settings. So I've set my bedtime as being between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m., just a broad number of hours. But, you know, with work, I rarely am actually sleeping at that time. Kind of crazy. So you got to use the Bluetooth app to get, to get the nightly recharge. And so other functions on, on, on this watch, uh, which is uh, your cardio status, so this watch will give you just basic information about your cardio status. And it says I'm overreaching. I think this is on account of ranting. You didn't know that making YouTube rant videos were uh, a workout, but look at, I'm overreaching. I'm on the verge of a heart attack on account of making angry rant videos about how much I hate apps. Apps are stupid. What can I say? Okay. So, uh, but you get more detailed information about your cardio status with the app, I think, but without having used it, I don't know. Life log, which is your steps. And we already talked about nightly recharge. Activity log. Okay, these are all your workouts, and they store them in the phone, or excuse me, the watch. Eventually, the memory on your watch will run out, okay? So right now, I have 72 workouts stored that go all the way back to... Uh, March 20th, okay, which is, I guess that's my first workout, March 20th. Shows you, what is that, seven months? I've had this for seven months. Earlier I said eight, but I think that you know what I mean. So this, the memory on the watch will fill up, and you have to manually go through and delete workouts. All right, all my watches are beeping because it's 1248. If I was at work, that would be a reminder that I have to finish up lunch to get back to the shop on those days where I'm working at the shop. And as Tyler will tell you, there's always something to do at the shop. All right, so you have to delete these workouts if you run out of memory. And you'd have to manually delete them without the app. With the app, I think it may automatically delete old ones. Not sure, but it will also give you a lot of graphical information about your workouts with fancy whiz-bang uh, graphics. Okay. Next we have the almanac, which tells you the sunrise and sunset. And so when you GPS sync, it will store your coordinates. So this sunrise and sunset is the GPS sync of the last time that I used a GPS, which I think was when I went for a walk uh, a couple days ago in my own neighborhood. So this is a sunrise sunset information for that GPS sync. Now, I think that if you have the Bluetooth hooked up, it would update more consistently with your Bluetooth location information, or the location information from your phone would be relayed via Bluetooth to your watch. And so uh, your, the almanac, the sunrise and sunset, would be accurate, okay? And so another feature that, this is the most obvious feature that is unusable without Bluetooth sync with the Casio watches app is notifications. So G, uh, K, 
Casio's making a lot of these G-Shocks that are essentially notification watches. They aren't smart watches, they're just watches that will relay a notification from your phone to your wrist. The GBDH2000 is one of them, and the DWH5600 is another, okay? So, both of these watches can, can be notification watches. I wouldn't call them smart watches. I would call them notification watches, okay? Now, I don't, I don't, I don't use that. I really don't like notifications, but I'm, I think that I might try it out just because a lot of, a lot of viewers on the channel are interested. And, uh, so yeah, notifications w would be a menu item and also can pop up on your phone and it can make the watch vibrate or beep or vibrate and beep. Another drawback without, if you don't use the app or Bluetooth is that you have to adjust all the parameters through the, the navigation interface. And I don't think I've found any that, that can't be uh, controlled via the navigation. And the navigation's decent, pretty good, except for when you set the, uh, let's say you set the timer, which is stupid that the timer only was up to 60 minutes, and if you want to set it, it, it doesn't allow you to set each digit. You have to press the button each time, and you can't just like hold down the button. Say, for example, if I wanted to set the timer for 60 minutes, okay, you can go up or down. But anyways, I think that if you have the app, you can set the timer uh, easily through the app, or more easily. You don't have to press the button each time. And there's another uh, other parameters, like I think I already explained, you know, when you're entering your weight. I think I let off this whole rant video talking about, about that, but yeah. You could set the weight from your phone app, your personal weight, and that helps calculate how many calories you burned working out. All right, the watch, and I already talked about the watch face number five being customizable. And I've seen online some people have the time with the weather on the top. And so that leads me to believe that this watch can relay weather information, but it's not gonna happen without the Bluetooth connection to your iPhone app or Android. I think I may have said iPhone, I have an iPhone. But uh, obviously there's Android apps. And there's some certain workouts that, so the next thing is that so, there's some workouts that will alert your phone to, to certain things. I believe that pool swimming, there's some information that the pool swimming exercise will relay to your phone. Uh, how you would read that while swimming, I don't know. I think it would be after the fact. And then they have this trail running feature. Jicky, Jicky, stop growling. Jicky and his sister Sheila are, are going at it. Anyways, trail running, I think there, there's extra information that you can add to the trail running feature through the app and additional information that the app will let you know about your trail running workout but I don't have that information now. And then uh, workout analysis, you know, you would, you would, if you have the app connected, it would give you a lot of details about your workouts. And I think that a recent update is that the Strava app is compatible with this watch now. I don't know, cause I'm not really into the, to the fitness app community, but as someone who's had this watch for like seven months, and has lost negative five pounds while using it, I think we need to step up my, uh, my fitness game. And so I, I have an announcement. It's good or bad, depending on what camp you're in pertaining to Bluetooth, but I will download the, the Casio app and hook up this watch in order to test it, because some people were asking some detailed information about the functionality of this GBDH2000 with the app. And some of you may be asking, what changed? You used to be a no Bluetooth absolutist, what changed? This came about, this watch is the Mudmaster. There's no Bluetooth on the Mudmaster. So this is my primary watch. I wear this to work. 
I wear this almost all the time because, well, I'm at work almost all the time. And this is just my fitness watch now and my days off watch. So, you know, like not wanting to use Bluetooth, I have a watch that has no Bluetooth. And so this will be a fitness watch and I'll try to use some more of the advanced functionality. Anyways, like some of you may be saying, what's the big deal? Why not just use Bluetooth? Well, there's a lot of problems to Bluetooth. First of all is the uh, electromagnetic uh, uh, radio waves that are propagated from the watch to communicate with your phone and back. And I want to limit my exposure to electromagnetic wave propagation, okay? I'm a ham licensed ham radio operator. So, you know, I'm in a radio field a lot and then your phone throws off a lot and then at work we have to use radios and a lot of electronic equipment that puts me inside of an electromagnetic wave propagation field. So I just want to limit that. A commenter chimed in on a, on a previous video saying that his wife got burned, like had a burn on her skin from, from you know, one of these fitness uh, chest straps. So you can't, you can't malfunction, it could potentially burn you, you know? Your earbuds could malfunction and potentially they like, just start screeching in your ears. That's really annoying. And the other problem with Bluetooth is that it's, it's like a fingerprint. Each Bluetooth device has a unique ID. And if you hook it up to your phone, which has your Apple ID, essentially this watch would be linked to my ID. And you know, Zuckerberg and Bill Gates and all of them, I don't want to make it easy for them to track me. And so that is another problem with Bluetooth. And uh, just in general, I mean, I, I really like not being notified all the time and not being bothered by smartwatches. And so that's why I am an appreciator of the Mudman, which has no Bluetooth. But anyways, the GBDH 2000, I think, is a terrific watch. I'll, I'll test out some of the capabilities. A commenter was asking me about nightly recharge, the sleep tracking. Uh... And so tonight, in the next two nights, I'll, I'll give that a shot. And, uh, you know, using an app, expect a lot of uh, rant videos about apps because, you know, <laughs> apps are stupid, all right? I just, like, like, why not just use a website? Why not, why can't Chili's just have me order by the website? Why does it have to go to an app? It's just, it's just so dumb. Uh, anyways, uh... So that's, I think that's all that I wanted to cover in this video, but just, just a little bit of a preview of the stuff to come. You know, I pretty much can guarantee rants about, about problems with the software and the app on Casio. That's coming up. Denise has her watch to review. The, uh, the, the chick watch, the rose gold G-Shock, which you may have seen in the Beater Watch Vlog, a previous ep episode. So she'll have her official review on that. And I'll, I still have the comparison of the Mudman GW9500, which costs $380. I'm going to compare that to the, uh, where is it? The AE1500, which only cost $22. So what's better, a $22 watch or a $380 watch? There are some people who may choose the, the $20. $22 watch over the $380 watch. I'll give you the reasons why in an upcoming video. We have the Zebra Pen. I bought a brand new Zebra Pen. Will it be able to replace the F701? You're going to want to stay tuned and find out about that. All right. And then this is my Leatherman. This is the, the P2. This is my favorite Leatherman. Okay. But the question is, can the new ARC unseat that for a space on my belt? And this is the brand new ARC from Leatherman, which I've had, I've, I've found a few problems with it so far compared to the, to the free P4. You're going to want to stay tuned for that video. All right. But anyways, that's the deal. So to sum up what I've just said, yes. You can use the GBD H2000 with no Bluetooth. There are some limitations, some setbacks, which I've gone over, but 
it is possible to use this watch, no Bluetooth. And it's a great fitness watch, very comfortable. I love this watch. I gave it four, four stars and I think in the three or four rays of, a, of the fifth star. And then I just rounded up to five because like the problems are with the, with the software, but physically, the, the physical design of this watch is a fantastic five star design of the physical aspects and the comfort of this watch. Anyways, I am Jim Kincaid. Thanks for watching.